Man, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Beowulf. Man, the snow is melting. It's like almost 50 degrees outside. Look at I would take the hell kit out today. But look at this. I wouldn't be able to pull it back inside. It's hard to get the angle to get it just right. But here. Look at that. You'd have to hit that snow bank to even get it out. So it's just like the Hellcats is snowed in even when the snow is melting. And uh, hopefully hopefully the weather breaks and we'll be taking this car out soon. But I'll tell you, man, it's time to let the beast out. Had another house showing today. Let's cross our fingers so we make an offer so we get out of this cold, snowy weather. We move out to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. But anyways, let's go get this Jeep SRT cleaned up. Now let's get this day going because I got some big things to talk about, some past stuff back 2006. video it's going to be about is um, back in 2006 I was a professional race car driver and I raced for uh, Dodge Chrysler uh, Mopar and I raced uh, a Viper Comp Coupe race car and the Viper Comp Coupe race car was based off of a regular uh, SRT 10 convertible because that's before they even came out with the coupe um, Vipers, and then they put like it's um, they would divide it in there so it would be like enclosed, and then you would have the fuel cell in the back. And the only thing that was like factory about the car was somewhat of the frame and then uh, the headlights that were like not mounted how they normally be. But the whole car was carbon fiber panels, and the um, I'd have to say it was a couple couple feet wider than an existing regular Viper. I mean, it had it been over like two and a half two and a half feet at least two feet wider I mean it was it's basically the best way to describe it would be like comparing the a stock Viper like what do you consider like a, a Honda s2000 to what uh, like if you put an s2000 next to a, a Viper and the Viper is obviously bigger I mean that's what basically that Viper um, SRT 10 would be to a Viper comp coupe race car and actually the car I had was formerly raced by Tommy Archer and then that car was in earlier Forza Motorsports video games the car was in there so you could actually have raced with the car that I owned um, and then also too there was um, Formula 3 or no what was it it was some computer game and if you google it you can find it I, I don't have a PC so it was only a PC game uh, but if you google Derek Bursath the D-E-R-E-K Bursath Viper Comp Coupe, and there was a video game you could play as me, physically the car, because it was painted red and red and blue, and you could actually play as me in a video game, which was totally wild. Uh, it was years after not racing a Viper anymore that I found out this game was oh, existing, and I think that's pretty cool uh, to be in a video game. There's not a lot of people say you could play as, be play as uh, yourself in a video game. Um, and it was like a, it was like for whatever this computer game was a download. You you could play with me. Um, if anybody could find it, and you can still play it. I mean, that'd be cool. If you guys send me a thing on Instagram or something. You play with me in a game. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, I stopped racing a Viper because uh, that's back in this would be like 2007 is when uh, Fiat bought um, Chrysler, Dodge, and all that. And then it was kind of that it was a short period of time there was not really anything with their racing development was over and then shortly after that i think it'd been shortly after this when the they came out with the coupe um viper and then they came out with the viper acr and then they just kind of gave up on their whole viper um development and i actually think the viper race car was like it was like a factory car you could get um it wasn't street legal and I think Roush Racing was the one building them, or at least doing the cages. It was kind of, I think that's who was doing it. Um, yeah, but that thing was awesome. Except for it got super hot, you'd have to wear a thing called a cool suit. And the cool suit would be these like tubes, and then you'd have this like, look almost like a. Um, Overspeed. Like a cooler, a 
food cooler. You know, like in a, like you would have put a, but you put all ice and water in there, and it would get filtered through to have you feel um, cold or cool when you're driving because you get super hot. And then there'd be like an air vent on the top of my helmet that would blow cold, cool air in there because it was just super hot. When I did open wheel racing, I never got really hot because uh, you would have all the wind blowing on your face. But then when you're in that car, it was like a, it was like being put in a sauna. It was super hot. Uh, and you guys will see in the clips too of like I started off and a few things on the track. But like before, when I talked about with like my 2005 uh, professional uh, racing season with a Formula BMW, there's just not a lot of footage. There just wasn't a lot of cameras. I'm lucky to have any footage, to be honest. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the clip. Um, make sure if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's roll that clip. Let's see. Memory Lane 2006. Viper, comp, coop, roll it. You want to hear some fast stuff?
Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that clip from 2006, Viper Comp Coupe that I professionally raced. Um, just trying to dig in through some of my old archives and stuff. I got some other stuff I might post in the next couple of weeks too. Some other past stuff that um, you guys can just see kind of like a past like stuff that's been over 10 years ago with me. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Look at we got the dogs. Pikes here. Leo's like, yo. Uh, but make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't. I greatly appreciate it. And you know, share it to your buddies. It's always cool. Help, you know, help a, a fellow YouTuber out. You know, I'm just trying to do big things. And I need you guys' help. So let's get it going. I'll be back at it tomorrow with another video. You remember what my name is? I am Bitwop! Pike, got something to yell out? No calls out from them today. Take care, see you in the next video.